Okay, so this is my latest build. It's by Pegasus Hobbies and it's called When Worlds Collide. The spaceship that you see here is actually featured in a 1951 sci-fi movie of the same name. The kit itself is a pretty easy build. I think there's something like 16 parts. I'm not sure exactly. Um, the base is vacuum-formed plastic. Um, I embellished the base with rocks and um, synthetic sage grass to give it a more realistic look based on how it was presented in the movie. It turned out really cool. The logo, I dry brushed that to create um, that gradient pattern. I used basically kind of like a, a rust red and a yellow to create that pattern of, uh, or not that pattern, but that, that gradient. I'll zoom in on that a little bit so you can see it. Not the best videographer here, so I'm, bear with me. And you can see a little bit of the background there. All those, um, the rocks I got at a local hobby shop and the synthetic grass I got on eBay. There's people that sell that stuff, I guess, probably for train dioramas and stuff like that. Um, I'll give this thing a rotation. You can see how it looks all the way around. It's a classic 1950s look. All the spaceships of that era seem to have this sort of a pointy nose cone, very silver looking aerodynamic body. Oddly enough, um, not unlike what Elon Musk is currently building with his uh, Starship Hopper. Give it another rotation. Again, the diorama turned out really nice on the base. And the nice thing about adding the, uh, the rock to the base is that it adds weight because it's pretty lightweight. So it adds some weight and some stability to it as well. There's one thing I'll definitely want to point out, and that's this nose cone, this, this little pointy tip. I'm going to zoom in on it here. Um, so that tip is a really super flimsy plastic and I knew it was going to break off and it did. So what I did was I took a piece of, um, paper clip, cut it to about the same length. I bored out the hole in the nose cone so that the paper clip would fit in, um, put a couple of drops of, um, of thin, um, super glue in there, stuck the paper clip in and, uh, perfect. Worked out great. It's solid. It's definitely not going to break off. It looks a lot better. Um, so I would suggest retrofitting that um, pointy little gizmo with a, with a uh, paper clip. And that worked out really well for me. So, yeah. Fun kit to build. Didn't take too long. You know, I mean, you can take as long as you want, obviously. Um, could have probably added more to it, but I wanted to keep it fairly simple kind of, you know, in keeping with how it looked in the movie. Pretty nice, though. And um, Pegasus has a number of uh, model kits that are of the shiny missile-like design that I'm going to uh, show you um, in another video. But uh, this turned out, turned out good, and it was fun. Thanks for looking.